Bode, the other day my brother was playing 3D gaming and his glasses, like the battery on his glasses ran out. And okay. I don't get it because the other day I was in the cinema and I had plastic glasses and they didn't have any batteries and I just... That's a different system. Different system. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm very confused. How does 3D even work? You have two eyes. I do. Yes, you have two eyes. We call this stereoscopic vision if you yeah. want to be technical. Um, if you've only got one eye, you don't have Cyclops. De yes, or, or you've just been very unfortunate. Oh, yeah. um, but basically you have no depth perception. You have no ability to tell... Um, how close, how far away something is. So th the way we have evolved is to have two eyes. It's a bit like having two cameras that have taken a picture from two different angles. And your brain compares the difference, it converges and compares the difference, and it can tell, therefore, how far away something is by the difference between the two images. If we then want to watch something in 3D rather than watching something in 2D, the technology has to find a way of delivering two separate images to us, so one to each eye, to basically fool our brain into thinking we are seeing something in 3D. So is this how the old red and green glasses work? That is a really good example of yeah. exactly how that's working. So if you look at the images on, the, uh, on your piece of paper, it'll be a red and a green image that have just been stuck directly over the top of each other. Um, and then the glasses um, would actually separate those two images. So the green goes to one eye, the red goes to the other, and it gives you this, this sense of you're looking at something 3D. Okay, so I recognise that we've moved away from the red and green 3D glasses now, mm -hmm. but what is the difference then between my brother's glasses and the ones that I wore in the cinema? We would usually call these active and passive solutions. So your, your brother's glasses are active. It looks like they're just normal glasses, right? But what they are actually is LCD screens. The, these screens are capable of either being completely black or being completely clear. They alternate. So one will be black and then it will be clear and then it'll be black and it'll be clear and this is happening ridiculously fast but it sends a signal to your monitor uh, or your tv so that it synchronizes which frames are then on display when your eyes looking at it and it happens so fast that as far as your eyes your brain's concerned it's seeing those two images at the same time and it has then the effect of 3D because mm. it's got, got these two images. Okay. The downside is that obviously you do have issues with the battery and the headsets, the, um, the glasses themselves, are, they're about, you know, typically about 100 quid. Wow, and, okay, so that's a got, lot more than yes. the one pound that I paid for my plastic ones. In the cinema, yeah. yeah. So as a technology, we've kind of moved in that direction, but we're now moving away from it towards uh, the passive solution like you see in the cinema. Now what these do is, in order to get the images to your eye, um, both images are displayed on screen at the same time, a bit like our, our red and green uh, picture. So, so these images are there, um, and then the lenses are polarised in different directions so that it picks up, uh, one, each eye picks up one of the other images. Now this is done at the, um, the cost of resolution. Um, because it essentially interlaces the, uh, the screen. I've always noticed that there's a bit of a problem like with brightness with the passive glasses, like everything's a little bit dim. Yeah, that's one of the other problems, but a good cinema uh, or a good screen, um, you know, if you're doing this at home, they compensate for that by increasing the brightness. And, and, and oh. you know, if you've got a modern TV, I don't know about you, but my, my IPS panels at home I have to have them at something like 40% brightness because otherwise I find it kills my eyes. Well, thank you very much for explaining the difference between active and passive glasses. I definitely feel more enlightened on the topic and I hope that you do too. And if you'd like to see any more episodes, um, then please subscribe on YouTube or iTunes. And head over to our forum where we'd love to hear your opinions on 3D, for instance. Do you love it or do you hate it? And we shall see you next episode. Bye-bye now. Action! Hi. <laughs> Hi. What is 3D? How does 3D even work? Magic. <laughs>